tonight, we have an exclusive interview with the man who ran toward danger and pulled people from a burning plane on Long Island. One, sorry. One passenger was killed in Sunday's crash. But two others got out alive, thanks to a good Samaritan who spoke to CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff. As wreckage is hauled away, we now know how much deadlier this plane crash could have been. A North Lindenhurst father was teaching his daughter how to drive Sunday when they saw the plane crash and explode in a fireball. I think it will be always in my mind. You know, I mean, I will never forget. There was uh, fire everywhere. Maru's Kartoriski got in the driver's seat and raced over the first to the horrifying scene. First, I grabbed the pilot, which was the, the young man. And also he was uh, asking me, please help me, please help me. The pilot, 23-year-old Faisal Chowdhury of the Bronx is in critical condition, severely burned. He then saw a woman in the burning wreckage. She's going to die inside the fire. So I pulled her out. I, and I took her to the safe place. And then she was uh, asking, where is where's my mom? Where is my mom? We now know that was Riva Gupta of Pennsylvania. Her 63-year-old mother, Roma of New Jersey, didn't survive. Ready, ready. The young pilot who radioed in smoke, then fire in the cockpit, had taken the mother and daughter on a 40 minute trip known by the flight school as a discovery flight to expose passengers to the joy of flying. The flight school attorney says he's a top instructor. He had multiple certifications, not only as a private pilot, then he received his commercial training license. He is a certified flight instructor. According to colleagues, raising money for the Gupta family, flight lessons were a long Long-standing wish of theirs, calling Riva a physician assistant, an incredible, caring, selfless young woman who's now fighting for her life. Carter Risky says he's grateful he was in the right place at the right time. If I don't pull them out, they will die. The flight school attorney says the plane was up to date on all inspections, including one a month ago and another just last week. In North Lindenhurst, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.